Well, uh, Mr. Bibia Walter joins us now. He's the State Secretary of the People's Democratic Hello. Party in Rivers State. Uh, thank you for coming on this morning, Chief Walter. Well, your party has been accused. You, you heard the APC. They say, in fact, they were uh, pointedly accusing fingers at one of your members. What's your account of what happened? I am not APC. I am the State Secretary of the PDP. I was seen nowhere around their campaigns on the set day. And, um, but what happened is condemnable and unequivocally I have done so uh, while I was even in Port Harcourt. Uh, nobody will see that and say that it is, it is well done. Uh, nobody should promote violence. Um, the member, they say they saw. I do, I do know that I cannot account for him. But let me take it this way, if he was seen. Was he seen with hoodlums carrying gun? Or is this just to rob uh, Madame In? That's the president's wife in because she's from Okrika. And Okrika has something, um, um, another local, sister local government area, Ogubolo, and some parts of Port Harcourt. So anything that happens should be maybe they, they think they can sell her name and drag her into more. The woman has developed to be an enigma. Madam, you're a woman. If you're married and you marry a president, I think you mean well for your people. And this is a woman that is known to be preaching peace. You mean they were organized to kill people just to... Uh, uh, okay. How can the first lady organize to kill people and kill her people? It's unheard of. Well, they haven't, I know what APC they, does. They haven't said the first lady organized... They to, said Evans BP they, is a mm, PA to the first... So what he was mm, trying to... He was trying to draw a, a relationship, a corollary you, to... You, you don't think that he could be overzealous? Um, the Evans? Yes. Uh, I do not think that he has anything to do with it. The plotting Evans in is to make a PDP uh, uh, have a picture. They want to picture PDP into this issue. I can tell you, uh, imagine that does not know Okrika and he does not understand the politics of Okrika. Why do you say that? Why I am saying so is that w within their APC, the woman has sympathizers. What is the politics of Okrika? Tell the us. politics of Okrika right now is that we will follow our sister to foot the same line with her. We will not let uh, a disgrace to come to her. We will follow her to vote on the same line. So the people that came to the rally were not supporters? They came from the outside the The people that may have caused this are aggrieved APC members amongst them, trying to check perhaps their overzealous members. I, who, I, 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 I how understand. it is possible, let me tell you. They have never held a meeting where the woman's name is mentioned that they have never had uproar. Their members have told them, Stop talking about patients, Jonathan. When you want to do your meetings and your word rallies, mention the things you want to do for the people. I can tell you, no PDP man would get close to whenever a PDP, I don't understand. APC so is doing something. They're planning a prepare. rally. They're planning a rally. Yes. And their own members disrupted the rally because they mentioned the president's wife's name in I the rally. I want to ask you a question. If, if, if I was facing, facing Chinda, I would, have, I would have asked him if Dr. Parker attended the rally. Who is Dr. Parker? Dr. Parker is health commissioner. So, Dr. Parker, are you insinuating that I Dr. Am Parker insinuating that is behind this violence? I am violence? insinuating that the faction led by Dr. Parker is behind this violence? And the faction led by Ariski should be investigated by the police and know their difference. When once that is solved, APC will have peace among themselves. It is not an Okrika pattern to do such attacks. In recent times, we've heard about certain attacks. It's not our type of politics. If I it is more intra-party than it is inter-party. If I understand you very clearly, you're saying that Okrika is the PDP stronghold. It's been PDP. When did we even divide? Eight months ago. In well, entire River uh, State. Well, uh, the defection uh, of this in Machinda, they, they are picturing, in, they are picturing as if my they are not the desperate ones. Uh, you are saying that it is to install a particular is candidate. Is it possible Your for me, candidate is not is an it possible for me spirit. to land on my question, sir? I'm saying, I mean, if I'm getting you right, 
are you saying very clearly whether or not uh, they divided eight months ago? There are two obvious parties in River State right now. Yes. The APC and, and the, the PDP. PDP. Yes. Are you saying that as it stands currently, Okrika is a PDP stronghold? River State is a PDP enclave. The reason I ask that question is because this is the 22nd rally that the APC is holding in different local governments. And this is the third time, from what we understand, that they've tried to hold a rally in Okrika. And this third time, a policeman is killed. Journalists are wounded in, in, and supporters too are also chased out. Are you saying that they did not plan any other rally in, you know, in which they will kill themselves but for Okrika alone? Um, Okrika is where their internal point of divergence is sharper. Their internal disagreement is sharper in Okrika. And I've told you the reason. Were you Not... aware, just a moment, were you aware that the APC had been trying to hold a rally in Okrika? And because they've not been able to solve what they were supposed to solve. I'm just internal... asking, did, were you aware, was your party aware? I, I, be that... I became aware when I was invited by the police commissioner for a meeting. And they addressed them differently and addressed us. And they told us, they have told them that they should hold on and let them clear with some investigation and they will allow them. That is all I know. The reason we ask those questions is because yeah. in the last couple of weeks and months, you know, people have been signing peace pacts. In your state as well, uh, the APC and the PDP has also signed a peace pact. People are wondering, what is the essence of this peace pact? If people are throwing threats and saying, don't come to our local government, you cannot hold a rally in this local government, and the other party sits by and does nothing about it. No, we have never said so, young woman. We have never said that nobody should come to Okrika. I'm from Okrika. Incidentally, I'm state secretary. And we have never said. APC is welcome. In fact, while we were campaigning, while we were campaigning the internal word to word campaign, we passed them on the road. While we campaigning word one, they campaigning word three. And there was no hiccup. But there was no problem. So you say well, that you have absolutely, sorry, Chamberlain, you have absolutely no incentive to disrupt this rally at all. We want to be left, we want them to be in APC so that uh, they win. We're not even allowing them to come to PDP. First in politics, you tell them, come and join us. And then before, if they, are, if they refuse to join you, and then you go for election. But we are not even interested in APC. Have Madam, you believe me, we are not interested in their campaign. Have you seen the, the statements that your party released after... Um, after the attack in Okrika. Did you take a look at it? Yes. You saw the one released by... Uh, Emalka. Yes. Yeah. Drawing attention to the violence that happened in one of the local governments, and he said PDP members were attacked. Yes, and we, we, in, on that campaign day, we mentioned those. We didn't say APC. We mentioned the persons in APC who did the attack. And I want to mention to you that a man named Chisong, who is a caretaker committee member in Omoma local government area, personally shot a PDP ward secretary by name Bobby Wogu. And you have personally, that? You have that? Just, you have I don't have pictures. I, I don't go about with um, documents. Did you report it to the police? Yes, the police is aware. Have they done anything about it? I think they've made them arrest and they're investigating. But this. this so when is... something happens, Tell the police. Have confidence in the police. I have, because I, I wouldn't go to the moon. I have. I will report. But this kind of grandstanding, uh, it's PDP. It's PDP. They say here they will accept results. Has we already been known to be accepting results? Well, about this, because you Three say, serial fa failure. Oh, by the way, all were, not accepted. Were you in Okrika on that day? I told you I don't have any business going to Okrika that day. But were you in Okrika? Never would I be in Africa when APC will be doing campaigns, except when PDP will do. What's the, because uh, at the moment, has the police reached out to you? Because we heard the Commissioner of Police in that report saying, yes, they will get down to investigation and invite everyone to find out, to ensure that they get to the When I'm invited, I will not fail to show up. I, in fact, Are you aware I, of I want to be investigated. I'll throw in myself for proper investigation. So at the moment, if I do know anything about it, I am the leader of the PDP in Okrika. 
I am the operational leader, and if PDP is involved in this matter, I should be able to know. That's why I say, police, come and arrest me, you know, do your proper investigation.